welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a day in the life. I actually did one a few months ago, but my day has changed quite a bit since then. I not only have started doing Russian lessons like a few times a week, so in total I do Russian lessons for six hours a week, um, but I also got another job which is teaching a two-year-old in person, whereas before I was just teaching online, so it's a much more interesting day compared to before. On days that I have a Russian lesson first thing in the morning, I literally just have a bowl of cereal because I have no time to make anything first thing in the morning, I prefer just to sleep. Um, I also made some homemade mores the other day, so um, yeah, I'm just having that for breakfast, i uh, probably have some more throughout the day. Um, it's just basically like berries and then water and you boil it for ages and add a bit of honey. That's it, it's really like healthy and tasty as well. So yeah, that's my breakfast. So I'm walking to my class now. I've been having classes with her for around a month and a half, two months, and I really like them. I'm really fussy with uh, like language learning because with Russian specifically, I've had so many teachers and I've just found it really like not consistent. So I've had a few one-to-one -one classes with some teachers and in that video, in the last video that I did, A Day in the Life, I actually had like a group class and I did that for like three months. But what ended up happening is that they kept on adding more and more people that like had zero knowledge of Russian. So we ended up just having to like sit there and wait for them to kind of catch up. It was super frustrating. I was like, I'm not going to do this. It's a waste of my time. And there were so many of us. There was like 15 of us in the class. So like you really didn't speak much. But now, obviously one to one, it's much better, much more efficient. And I do two hours, two hours, and two hours. And yeah, I found her off a website called profi.ru, by the way. It's a famous website here in Russia where you can like hire people for different jobs. For example, you can hire them to clean your house, hire like a babysitter. And obviously I hired my Russian teacher, literally just typed up Russian teacher and then messaged a bunch of them, letting them know I was English and I didn't have that much knowledge of Russian. Um, so yeah, she speaks English very well. She explains like the grammar stuff in English to make sure that I like understand everything, uh, which is really good. But we also speak a lot of Russian too during the lesson. So I'll bring you along into my lesson uh, so you can have a bit of a glimpse of how I'm learning at the moment because I know a lot of you in are interested to see how I'm learning Russian and if I'm learning Russian at all. Because obviously I've done a lot of videos where it's like how to survive in Moscow without speaking Russian. But I think it is important to learn Russian, <laughs> especially if you're living here, uh, not only if you're just visiting. I love pizza, syrup, pomidorami, and grebami. Grushem, 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 yablakom. Okay, you love pierogi? Yes, I love pierogi. What do you love pierogi? I love pierogi. So, so, um, miasem, mm -hmm. serum, так. um, so. Хорошо. Катя, ты ходишь в рестораны? Да, я хожу в рестораны. Какую кухню ты любишь? Я люблю итальян, итальяны. Italiana, scuglio, scuglio, smadre. Francia, francese, ski. Che tai, che tai, anemot, cucchia, che tai, scaia, aia, che tai, scaia. Viga, che tovi, stellat, stellat, zakaz. Are you all ready to order? Um, off his mm -hmm. yeah. By the way, this is my outfit of the day. So I just have some black jeans and this like long sleeve shirt. It's like very thin. I literally have no idea how to dress at the moment because yesterday was like horrible weather. It's like 12 degrees or something. The day before it was like 30 degrees. So no idea how to dress at the moment. So I've just come back from my Russian class and I've got literally two minutes before my class starts. I've changed my top because we always have to wear a blue top for the company I work for. And this is literally my setup, same as in the last day in the life that I showed you. I've just got like lots of coloured pens that just like show colours, makes it easy that way. I've got like stars for like rewards, lots of different pictures. I've got this to show different shapes. 
I've got even more like pens to show for more colours. I usually snack on these uh, between classes, just sunflower seeds. I'm going into like the virtual classroom now uh, because I've got literally a few seconds. Hello! <laughs> Hello! Hi Jerry, how are you? You're happy? That's great. Can you add a question to? I'm happy. I'm happy. Thank you. And how are you? Very good. I'm happy. Thank you. <laughs> and I say, I'm happy. Thank you. <laughs> Very good. How was your day? How was your day? Good day. Good. I had a good. <gasps> I had a bad day? Like this? This is bad! <laughs> I had a bad day! <gasps> I had a bad day. Oh no, that's so sad. Let's get into the lesson, Jerry. <gasps> Ooh, we have a new song. This song is called Amazing Peacock. Your turn. Amazing Peacock. Amazing Peacock, let's sing together. Amazing Peacock. Amazing Peacock. Amazing Peacock. He is neat. Yeah, she is neat. She is neat, exactly. Now, who is neat? Can you please click who is neat? They are neat. They are neat. Yeah. So this is what my screen looks like while I wait. I'm just covering up the child's face. But yeah, my camera will open in 35 seconds. And yeah, it's very cute. I do like this company's design and everything. I've just finished online teaching now and I've got to quickly make some lunch before I head on to my next job. And I'm actually going to make a cheese sandwich. So, um, I've just got some bread here from the bakery, the local bakery, so we always get it from there. Um, also got some cheese and a carrot as well. I'm just going to like peel it and then chop it and then that will be my lunch before I quickly run and go to work. I'm heading to my next job now and with this job, I work with a two-year-old Russian boy whose parents want him to be able to speak English like a native speaker. So that's why they've started like teaching him at a young age. But obviously, because he is so young, his attention span isn't quite the same. So it's interesting teaching him because it is just through interactive play. So I bring like lots and lots of toys and we go through each activity. And basically I just speak English the whole time to him so that he can absorb it. I try to ask him questions. He's not at the point of answering them yet, but he does repeat a lot of like random words in English, which is great. It's a great sign they're doing that. Little ear. What else have we got? Push it in. Mm-hmm. Very good. Almost. Oh, good job, you found the hamster. What other colours of squares have you got? You got silver. Very good. Go, 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 go. Oh, it's gone. Where is it? You can sit on the chair. So we can sit next to the table. Open. Yeah, open. Let's take the elastic band off. Oh, what is this? We've got lots of colours. Orange. There's more in the yellow bucket. You can put it inside the bucket. Very good. You've got a little bit. Good job. Shake, shake, shake. Can you shake it? Shake, 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 shake. Shake, 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 shake. Whoa, shake. Good shake. You've got to draw a line from here to the bee. Bee. Hello, bee. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Today, for the first time, I'm going to be doing cooking with him. We're going to be baking some gingerbread cookies. So that should be quite fun. It'll be interesting to see how it goes because as I said, I'm really used to doing all these different activities with him. I still brought them all with me just in case he's not interested in baking. I have like the biggest bag ever. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. Um, 
but yeah, I'm just walking to the bus stop and then go to his house. It's quite fun. It's a long walk to the bus stop, but especially when the weather's like this and it's really pleasant, it's a nice walk, so I can't complain. One, two, three, four, five. Good counting. And these are the cookies we've made. We've made three. One, two, three, four. Good cleaning. Brush, brush, brush. Good, let's put it in the bin and tip it in. Empty. Good job, well done. Now we can close, close. I've just finished working with the two-year-old kid. I am absolutely knackered because as you would be after working with a kid for two hours. <laughs> got flour everywhere. I've got like food on my jumper. But it was fun. I love my job really. <laughs> it's actually really fun, but a bit of a mess after I finish. So I am back from work now. I've just changed my top because as you saw, it was very disgusting. <laughs> there was like all sorts of dough and honey and stuff on it from baking. But um, yeah, now I'm back, I'm gonna be cooking dinner. So for dinner, I'm gonna be making cutletta and gurcha and steamed carrots and some sauteed mushrooms too. And we'll have like a yogurt for dessert. I sound like I'm like a waiter or something. <laughs> but um, gurcha and cutletta is like a Russian dish. And um, yeah, really like it, super easy to make, very quick as well. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to make it. The Gretcha is super easy to make. It's literally one part Gretcha to two parts water. So I just get like this mug and fill it all the way to the top and then I'll just do the same but double it um, with water. Put it into the saucepan and I will boil it and when all the water disappears then the Gretcha is done. Super, super easy. For the cutletta I'm just going to dice this onion and then I will also dice the garlic too. I'm literally crying from this onion, it's so painful, but the food's gonna be worth it. <laughs> next, I'm just gonna add the meat into here too. And then next is the breadcrumbs. And then we're gonna add some salt and some pepper too. I've just added some olive oil to this fry pan. I've just chopped up uh, a few carrots and put them in here to steam on top of the Gretcha. Um, here I have the cutletta. I've added a little bit of water because they were sticking to the bottom and they just kind of steam through. And here I've just cut up like a whole packet of mushrooms. And now I'm just going to put some soy sauce in here. Just a little bit. This way I don't have to add any oil or any salt because it's kind of the two mixed together. And I'm gonna put a lot of pepper as well. I think this complements mushrooms really well. And then lastly, the last thing I put in here is some paprika, some smoked paprika, just a little bit. Just to add a little bit of a kick. And then I'm gonna mix it all together and then serve it. So this is our dinner served up. So we like to have it with some French mustard, so some Dijon mustard. So yeah, we're gonna eat it and watch some Netflix at the same time. So that is it for my day and therefore this video too. I really hope you enjoyed getting a bit of a glimpse into my day living here in Moscow and working as an English teacher. If you want more details about how you can work as an English teacher in Moscow, I've got a whole video dedicated to that. So I'll link it in the card up above and in the description too because I do give more details about all of that and how I got my job here. So if you did enjoy this video give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already as I post a new video every single Sunday all about living and working in Moscow. So yeah see you next Sunday. Bye!